what's up guys? In this video we're going to take a look at these 12 gauge Remington Premier Expander Sabo Slugs. So these are 3 inch shells with an advertised velocity of 1550 feet per second and a 438 grain projectile. And we got a little ballistic chart on the side here. And I guess this is a Barnes projectile and I believe it's solid copper based on the picture there. With some type of polymer tip. And here's the five shells. Looks like it says Remington featuring Barnes Expander. 12 gauge, 3 inch. And of course our normal Remington head stamp. Looks like a pretty cool slug in there. Especially from this picture. Kinda not as important with shot shell as metallic cartridge reloading. But let's check the overall lengths of these anyways. That's the overall length of these five shells. Now let's go ahead and cut one of these open. All right, and we got one cut open now. It looks like that's our Sabo wad. And underneath that, some kind of nitro card or something. But it's not like a normal nitro card that I'm used to seeing. Usually they're cardboard or some other kind of plastic wad underneath the Sabo. This one appears to be some type of fiber wad. But then we still got a plastic one underneath that. That's interesting though. It's like cotton or some type of fiber. A big gas seal made out of some type of fiber right underneath our Sabo. And there's our slug with the Sabo wad. This looks like the exact same Sabo wad that was inside the Remington Copper Solid Sabo slug. Which was a pretty awesome slug and I've done several videos on it so if you guys want make sure to check that out. I've done an analysis video with it just like this one. A chronograph test and a water jug test. But anyways let's take that slug out of the Sabo. And there it is. And honestly, based off the looks, I think this is the same exact slug as the original Remington Copper Solid Sabo slug. This one just looks like a tipped version. So it's pretty much just a tipped Copper Solid Sabo slug. At least that's what I think based off the looks so far. And I think having a tipped version would be a lot better. Instead of that massive hollow point, we just got a tip, which would give it a higher ballistic coefficient. And the polymer tip may also give us better expansion than the hollow point. But that is a massive and awesome looking slug right there. And underneath that we got another gas seal. And here's that gas seal. Looks very similar to other gas seals I've seen in my Sable slug analysis videos. And of course underneath that we have our powder charge. Let's get some measurements real quick and then weigh everything out. So the slug is 1.19 inches long with a diameter of 0.579, so pretty much 0.58 inches or 58 caliber. The Sabo is 1.158 inches. That really thick cottonish gas seal, 0.465 inches. And our regular gas seal, 0.293. And the slug inside the Sabo, 1.324. And our slug weighs. 434.8 grains, slightly less than advertised. The box says it's 438 grains, so it's roughly 3 grains short. Our thick fiber gas seal, 18.7 grains. Plastic gas seal, 17.1. The Sabo, 42.1 grains. The Sabo, the slug, and both gas seals combined, 512.7 grains. And the powder charge, a few flakes wouldn't come out, so roughly 32.7 grains. And there's a closer look at our powder. Now let's check the overall weight of the shells, 681.4, 6, 681.6, 6, 681.6. 681 even and 681 even again. 
But anyways, that's all for the Remington Premier Expander Sabo Slug Analysis video. I'll do lots of tests with these slugs soon, just like all the other Sabo Slugs. And if there's any other kind of shells or ammunition you would like to see broken down like this, just make sure to let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.